Let's change the default font size in Outlook 2019. If we go to the File menu at the top, we'll click on that, and then we'll go down to where it says Options. And you get a new box that pops up. Then we're going to click on Mail, and then we're going to go to where it says Use Stationery to change default font and styles. So we'll click on that. And now we see the default font for new mail messages, replying, or forwarding messages. We also see the option for plain text for when you receive email from older uh, email servers that use plain text instead of the rich text that we use now. So I'm going to click on the new mail messages font, and I'm going to choose Arial and I'm going to choose 14 point. Now we see that sample text show up and it changed when I did that. You could also change uh, the color of underlines, the font color, whatever it is that you'd like. But I'm going to leave the default text to Arial 14 just to make sure that it works. We'll click OK and then we'll create a new email message. And now I'll just go ahead and type something and we can see Arial 14 show up where the font is. Now I'm going to close this and reopen again just to make sure that it sticks so we know that it's the new default font. We've closed Outlook. I'm opening it back up again. And now I'll click on a new email. And we can see right there, Arial 14, it is still the same font and the same font size. So it did change the default. Now if we go to the View tab at the top, under View Settings, we have this other option called Conditional Formatting. And what this does is it gives us the ability to change the font and size for unread messages, expired email, overdue email, etc., etc. So if we want to do that, we can click on Font, and we can change the size, the color, the, you know, anything that we'd like except for it doesn't allow you to change the size by individual number. It's just small, normal, big, or bigger compared to what the regular font is. So for instance, if I choose bigger and we click OK, we can see it's going to use 16 point and then this uh, other font option. And it's going to happen on all unread messages. So if I click OK there, I'm just going to mark this one as unread just to show the difference. And look at that. It shows the larger font. There's another way that you can change the font based on the relationship of the email itself, whether it has been read, etc. So that's how you change the default font in Outlook 2019.